Hi my lovelies, welcome to the Mocha Goddess Oracle and Tarot channel. My name is Renee and it's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. I'm doing a reading for, um, starting to do my Zodiac monthly readings and this one is for Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is uh, their born, people born between October 23rd and November 21st. Um, element is water. And their ruling planet is, says Pluto, Mars, hmm, Mars, um, and their lucky gem is Topaz and Opal. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the whole things, but I just read a little thing for each zodiac. Um, but if you're new to my channel, um, just letting you know, this is a general reading um, for the sign of Scorpio. Um, it's not for anyone in particular. Sometimes I say he, she. Um, I'm not necessarily talking about a man or a woman. I'm just talking about the energy, um, the masculine or feminine energy. Um, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. So if you resonate with it, fine. If not, fine. Um, just know that I'm not talking about a man, a particular man, or a particular woman, or a man or woman. I'm just using energy, okay? Um, and this reading is just a general reading. It's not for anyone specific. Um, sometimes I do cuss in my readings, so if there's something that you just don't want to hear. I mean, I don't cuss through the whole thing, but sometimes it does come out. But if it's something that you don't like, um, then you may not want to listen to my reading um, or any of my readings. Um, no offense, and I'm none taken if you don't. <laughs> I understand, but that's just how I am. Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but please like, subscribe, um, share my channel. Um, and so let's get to it. Okay, I already did a, a, a blessing. Um, for the energy of the reading of the cards, um, I also am going to tell you that I'm using the Angel Tarot deck and for the main spread and for the clarification I'm going to be using the Territorial deck. Okay, I used a four card spread. I pre-shuffled all the cards for both decks. Um, and I laid out four, four cards. Okay, turning them over now. This is for Scorpio, September 2020. Okay, the first card I pulled out was the Ten of Earth. Which is the same as Ten of Pentacles. Second card is Queen of Fire or the Queen of Wands. Um, the third card I pulled out was Balance. And um, that's the same as Temperance. And Six of Earth, just Six of Pentacles. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, Ten of Earth. Completion of something to where you have financial security, family life, happy family life. Um, finding the magic and little things in life. Yep. Financial success. Um, the Queen of Fire is someone who's confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Um, pinnacle energy is Earth. Um, Earth energy is Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, it says stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself assert your independence and your creativity it's a queen of fire mm. 
balance, temperance. Um, it's represented by the archangel Zadkiel. It says the need of need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. Don't rush. Excuse me, it's very late. <laughs> Don't rush into things. So be sensible about your decision. Um, Six of Pentacles. Six of Earth. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. Receiving a loan or paying off debts. Six of Earth. Okay. Hmm. Ten of Earths. Very happy. Okay, I think I'm going to start clarifying. Three. Ten of Earth. Ace of Cups reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse, came out for the Ten of Earth. Okay, I'm very happy love. says you're having a difficult time keeping everything together um, you may be feeling overwhelmed bills um, the two pinnacles are saying this you're being overwhelmed with bills and perhaps more um, that you should only bite off as much as you can chew don't try to do everything at once prioritize what's important, the most important things first, um, turn down things that don't have, turn down opportunities to attend events or go places that really don't help with your situation. Um, don't overinvest in things that aren't important. Um, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is um, you've been experiencing some emotional instability and pain. Um, you should think about what you can do to get a firm grip on on what's going on. So, not quite sure what it has to do with the Ten of Earth. If you keep feeling like this, disorganized and overwhelmed, empty, emotional loss, you're not going to be feeling this Ten of Earth anymore. This happy family. You need to get over feeling this way in order to have the feelings that the to have the ten of earth. Um, Queen of Fire. Let me clarify that real quick. 
Queen of Fire is someone who's confident and intelligent and graceful. So you need to assert your independence. Oops, let's take both of those. Okay. Knight of Cups in reverse. And Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, it says your emotions are out of control, that you've become moody and overly jealous. Um, it could be somebody that's dragging you down with their emotional stuff. Um, but you should try to express yourself in a constructive and healthy way. Stretch your wings and fly. Um, the Six of Cups in reverse. It's, um, boredom. Stagnation, feeling stuck. Um, it also could mean, <coughs> excuse me, some child abuse. That you suffered child abuse as a child. Leaving home. Okay, it's, you're ready to let go of the past and move on. Something about letting go of an abusive relationship, whether it was verbal or physical. Um, if you're going through therapy, this can be a good omen. However, if you're looking through rose-colored glasses, um, you need to be sure that you're focusing on the present, what's going on right now, so that you can have a clear view, you know, so that you're not walking into something with clouded, clouded judgment. But don't underestimate yourself, okay? Assert your independence and your creativity. Stretch your wings so you can fly. Okay. Balance. Okay. Clarify balance. Strength in reverse and Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. Okay. Strength in reverse is weakness, self doubt, insecurity, hedonism. Okay. Um, Okay, it says you need to cool your heels. You need to stop and think about what you're going to say and do before you do it. Because it sounds like you're getting out of control about things. Um, something about your mood. Something is going on with your mood. Something about sign of jealousy that you need to focus on regaining confidence in yourself. Okay, and four of swords in reverse. That is restlessness, stress, burnout, exhaustion, stagnation, feeling stuck. Sounds like you need to take a break immediately, right now. 
right after you listen to this video <laughs> because it sounds like you're on the brink of burnout that could be all the it could be the reason for all the mood swings you're feeling the need to overdo to do a lot and it's too much it's going to be too much on you you're going to do some damage some serious damage if you keep going at the rate you're going so you need that balance you need that balance okay so you need to rest you need to stop you need to slow down stop doing so much it seems to me like you're trying to do something you're trying to do too much of something and you're not prioritizing you're not just once you're not just trying to do too much of one thing but you're trying to do too much of everything at the same time and you're not prioritizing what needs to be done for what like you're just trying to do everything and it's starting to build up it's starting to stress you out you start to feel burnout um, and exhausted and it's making you snappy um, but you feel like you're doing this because you feel like if you don't do it at the rate that you're doing it that you're it's not gonna be completed it's not gonna be you're gonna miss out are you gonna look like a failure like you didn't try and that's not the case it's not that it's not that you're not able to do it it's just that you've got too much going on right now and you need to organize better you need to prioritize you need to manage your time better because this is getting ready to bring heartbreak um, you think you're feeling stagnant now I mean the more you keep going at this rate you're gonna continue to feel that way that's what's gonna happen and you're never gonna you're not gonna reach that ten of Pentacles that ten of earth you're not gonna have the balance so okay let's clarify six of earth get some money time or effort a new career opportunity okay Let's clarify six pinnacles it's receiving and accepting help charity also see one more hmm. okay the ace of wands in reverse and six of pinnacles in reverse so, Ace of Wands in reverse is lack of energy, resistant to change. Right now, the, the rate that you're going with all this running around trying to do all this different stuff, you're on the precipice of a perilous journey. That's why you're feeling this lack of energy. You're just you're distracted. Um, and you're resisting the change. You're resisting changing your behavior because you feel that it's going to make you fail, that you're going to look like a failure. And you're not. It's just that you need to learn how to prioritize and manage your time. Um, whatever it may be you can't seem to compel yourself to move forward um,
that's another reason why you probably feel like something that you're trying to create you're feeling blocked because it's blocked by all this this stagnancy this stuck energy this because you got so much stuff going on it's in the way what you're doing is standing in the way of you being creative so um, and the six of Pentacles in reverse um, you need to be stingy with your your time when people ask you things this this could be another reason also another thing that you're doing as well as um, trying to do all this different thing do all these different things and participate in everything you're also probably trying to do things for other people that they have asked you to do when you need to not do so much of that you need to prioritize and you need to stop overwhelming yourself that included um, you need to practice more self-care you need to slow down um, it's maybe others have been taking advantage of you because they see you in this weakened state and that just may be something that they're picking up on so you need to be mindful of taking on more and more projects because you could also find yourself taking on more debt you know um, that will keep you from being able to take care of business um, reaching your ten of earth your ten of pentacles um, and being able to be charitable and um, accept and give help so seems to me from this reading this energy it looks like someone is having a difficult time finding balance in their life right now um, because they have a lot going on they're trying to put their hands in all this different stuff and it's like well they're finding themselves overwhelmed and the cards are saying that this person is confident and warm intelligent and graceful um, but they need to find some kind of balance with the things that they're doing right now because they're not going to be able to have happy family life um, they're being blocked their creativity is blocked um, they're fe feeling disorganized they're feeling overwhelmed um, every card that came out to clarify this spread is in the reverse every card um, stop that my dog making noise um, every card that's clarifying is in the reverse it's saying okay they're not able to do this if they're going to continue this behavior. That's what it's saying. Because family, happy, a very happy family life can be met. Financial security, that goal can be met. Um, but you have to find balance. You have to stretch your wings and fly. You have to um, not stop underestimating yourself. You need to assert your independence and your creativity um, because you're the queen of fire. Something is, something's at the root of this and it looks like there was some kind of verbal abuse or some kind of abuse that happened possibly in childhood. Um, maybe someone, hey, stop it. Maybe someone was constantly saying something to you to make you feel a certain way. Um, 
So now it's like you know that you can do it or you really want to do certain things to increase your the income, the flow of income into your into your house, into your home, but it's hard because once you get started on something, it's then you you shortly after that getting started on it, you lose interest in it because there's a little voice talking to you telling you, oh, you're probably not going to succeed at that anyway. It's that that verbal abuse, that voice of verbal abuse that you heard, and it talks to you when you start working on projects of creative projects to help you you know become more successful or to do things that you've always wanted to do or start your own business or whatever you hear that little voice that continues to keep you blocked and you have all this stuff that's that you've started and it's making you feel exhausted because you're trying to get it all done. You, you've started it and it's like, okay, I've invested this much money in this and you know, I need to finish it, but it's just sitting around. And that is festering within you, that sense of not being able to complete it, of it just sitting around being incomplete and not done. It's making you look like a failure and it's making you feel restless and stressed and aggressive and upset. So I can only say my advice would be if you have a lot of projects laying around at home and you're feeling not so successful and you don't you're feeling overwhelmed and disorganized you should take this weekend take the time especially if you don't have to work tomorrow if you're not working right now because of the pandemic or you are working but you have the day off tomorrow you should take the day off and or just take next weekend or take a couple of days when you get home from work take a couple of hours to start cleaning up start cleaning up that stuff that you're not working on put it don't put it in a box and put it up in your closet don't do that if it's something that you know you're not going to finish then you should just go ahead and either put it in a box and donate it to the Goodwill or to Salvation Army or you should toss it because putting it up in the closet all that's doing is just is keeping it in your energy is keeping it in the house if you put it up somewhere are you gonna just stumble across it again because you're gonna start feeling that way and you're like oh yeah I remember I put that thing up in the closet so to keep to keep it out of sight out of mind off your property out of your life you won't go back to that you know what I mean it'll be easier to move on to some better better energy more positive energy more positive action instead of repeating that same old gathering of things and then being overwhelmed because it's all surrounding you and it's not finished that's what hoarders a lot of hoarders do they they gather things that they know that they're not going to finish but they want to have it there just in case because they know you know this can this feels makes me feel a certain way and that makes me feel a certain way and it keeps it's like comforting but it's not so but that's what I got from this reading is that you have the potential to have a very happy family life it's just that I think you need to go through some of your stuff some of your projects and take a lot of stuff out prioritize the most important things and get rid of the clutter and uh, cross out the things that are not so important so that you're not feeling so overwhelmed and you'll start seeing your goals being met um, getting closer to your goals and the, it'll balance start balancing itself out because right now your scales are like one is high up here and the other part is down here so you're not feeling very balanced right now so you need to look at look at what's going on with yourself with things that you're doing and you need to start trying to level that out you know get rid of the stuff that you're not doing things that are not serving you any kind of purpose whatsoever or that are not 
contributing to your goal. And then your scales will start balancing out. Your life will start balancing out. And then you'll start seeing more, um, more financial, um, positive financial results. And especially like career opportunities will start becoming more available because you'll be, your mind will be less cluttered because your space is less cluttered. And that could lead to the happy family, Ten of Earth. Okay, I hope that made some kind of resonation with you. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading or get in touch with me, my email is going to be in the description below. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation or donate anything from my Amazon wish list, that information will be in the description as well. Um, like I said before, this is for Scorpio, September 2020. Um, it's not for anyone in particular. Um, it could be, I mean, it's not could be, it's not for anyone in particular. It's just a general reading for um, the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Um, and I plan on doing these once a month, a monthly reading for each zodiac. Um, so I hope it resonated with you and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good evening, um, and a good rest of the week the rest of the month and I'll see you around the same time next part now this time I'm going to do it like at the beginning of each month it took me a few days to go ahead and make the decision to start doing monthlies but I'm gonna start doing monthly so I'll see you at the end of the month the beginning of October okay talk to you later Scorpios y'all have a good one peace love and light